So this is Eve's favorite thing to do. She basically just stares outside like a little kitty cat, waiting for something to bark at. So once Peter gets home from work, we're gonna head over to Magic Kingdom. I have one of the buttons on my shirt actually right now. We're gonna do some promo shots, but the actual artwork isn't releasing until, you're gonna be watching this on the 31st. It's gonna be released at midnight, so I don't know if we're gonna end up showing it or not. Um, but yeah, I have released that it is themed after Disney Park snacks, so we're gonna get some snacks tonight. So we didn't tell anybody, but we're starting a whole month of Magic Kingdom. We're gonna come here every single day for an entire month. All of September. <laughs> Forget food and wine. I'm just joking. Just joking. We're going to food and wine tomorrow. We're going to food and wine tomorrow, day one. Can't go a park open because I have work, but we'll be there first thing after. Six o'clock on the dot. So we're gonna check out the festival center tomorrow, get a pamphlet so we can plan out the rest of the 75 days of uh, food and wine that are going on. But tonight, you'll get a sneak peek of our uh, of our button release that's gonna go up in a few hours from where you when you're watching this. So we're gonna get some promotional photos. Can I go here? Yeah, promotional photos of our of our buttons that we have with us and little areas we want to take pictures at at the park. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, do we just miss it? I can't tell yet if it's leaving or if it's left. That's her sick. That's her sick dance. I'm feeling better today, but I'm more so just like pressure on my chest. And guess what, guys? I think I have a sore throat. Or at least I feel like I'm getting one. So. Okay, so we only have so many hours of sunlight. sunlight. So, so when we, we first get here. Oh. What? What are you gonna say? So we're gonna go and get the pictures taken right away. Then we're gonna have fun because I got a bunch of fast passes. Literally on the hour to the hour, like 6:55 to 7:55, 7:55 to 8:55, 8:55, 9:55. She's got herself a lollipop. She's like a three-year-old. Okay. Okay, where are you going? There's lots of people. What do you want as the backdrop? How do you want me to compose a photo? I want... Does it irritate you that there's gonna be fall flowers in the background? I think she wanted to do these designs just so she could come in here having a, an excuse to come buy all these treats that we're about to buy tonight at the Magic Kingdom. Confess your true meanings. Yeah, you a big lollipop every Christmas. I've never had one in my entire life. Really? Really. Well, it's a nice night. I'm eating my first sucker. I mean, it's pure sugar. What did you expect? Sarah's putting a button on me. Because I'm a model. <laughs> Can't you tell? Got our popcorn? Got our sucker. And a cup of water. But we're doing good. We already have two of our photos. We've got two of our little snacks. And we're going to get my favorite one. It's funny, when we were coming into the parks, I was asking Sarah, like, what snacks we're getting. I was like, we're getting a pretzel, a churro, and a it's premium bar, right? Bar. And Sarah's like, we're not getting any of those things. Apparently, I wasn't up to date with what the button design was this month. I knew the theme. I knew that we had our best friend guest star designing them. I've been, and I just thought because she's she's she do, she loves Disneyland so much, I she'd do a churro for sure. And I thought I remember seeing in the designs um, a pretzel. And I just always All assume. All those things are located on the sticker. Gotcha. But the buttons are historically designed to reference the opening of Disneyland. Okay. Lauren is a, a Disneyland native. Yes. So she, she probably knows Disney snacks better than anyone. Yes, but she's got close connections to Disney World too. Yeah. But, she, she lived here but for that's a few why years she as well. Chose, um, lollipop, popcorn, and the dual whip yes. for, um, for the snacks. Button. So not that I don't love popcorn or the sucker that I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of the night because we have nowhere to put it. We're um, going to get a bag. Yeah, we'll get a bag and we'll shove it in the backpack. But we are going to get the Dole Whip now and I want one to my own self because I'm selfish. You could have it all. She said I got the whole thing. <laughs> I'm just cleaning it up. Uh-huh. It, it was the most melty Dole Whip ever because we had to take those the photos. It's about the time we've ever had for a photo. Well, we made our first fast pass, even though we were over 10 minutes. But look at these TVs, I've never noticed them before. Do you know when they got put in? 
Mm -hmm. these snacks took off my red lips. Yeah, it's okay though, you still look great. But this ride though is the best. Okay, this is my favorite ride in all Disney World. Next. Wait, wait, wait. What? You told me that Splash Mountain. No, this is. Last time we were on Splash Mountain, you said this is my favorite ride. I said more than Space Mountain. No, I used to say everything's my favorite ride. Look at the TV. But this is really my favorite ride. Sarah's a trooper, she's got a big old headache. Whoa! We've been here just over a month, and we, there are still things we haven't ridden on. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. It's always so cold there. Yeah, and T.I. Double Gur is always <laughs> such a good time. Don't cough. Don't cough in Disney World. <laughs> But she told me to dance. What? She told me to dance. <laughs> she told me to dance. She told me the cast. Sir, you thought I was being a jerk? <laughs> the cast member told me to dance, so I danced my way up to the front because we have to skip like 30 people. Always look for the two rounds. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Well, this is what you look like when you're in, when you're sick, but you still go to the theme parks. All the water and all the sweat and all the magic, right? It's better than Nyquil. I take this over Nyquil. I hate Nyquil. Creepy Splash Mountain looks, everybody. Those are the brakes right there for the big drop. Look at that scaffolding on Splash Mountain, that big old light. Look at the creepish little flicker on top of Splash Mountain. That's not like that usually, is it? No. I wonder if they're working on it. And look at this cool sign, it's not just the partner Pixie Dust. Sorry, folks, Splash Mountain is closed for a spell. But we're fixing to make a splash again soon. Have a zippity doo dah day. Look at how close this scaffolding is. <gasps> no. <gasps> There's like workers back there clinking and clanking. I've never. There's wor There's like supplies over there. There's a ladder. There's a guy over there or a girl over there working. Multiple cast members. Oh my gosh. That's intense. Everything is my favorite, but we're back at the ground, put it in, to listen to some music and relax in the air conditioning. 
We had a very nice boat ride. Customer Jeff tried to ask everybody if they were okay with just stopping in the middle of Seven Seas Lagoon to watch the fireworks. But unfortunately, it was good. And, you know, he asked, and there was one family who had reservations about doing that. So one family said they can't do it, then we can't do it. But it was a nice try. But we get to relax now. It is so much fun. This is probably the only resort I would work for. Oh, really? Not again, but like, I would go into like front desk operations. I would go into. Ooh, someone wants to go on a cruise. Well, By the way, the member, right? we're thinking about trying to do the member cruise in 2019. Um, with the move and everything, we couldn't try to do the 18. We've never done a cruise. And we're thinking maybe to shoot for. The 19, 2019 cruise because the uh, call, like the, when they go on sales about a, a little less than a year from now and because it 18, calls me. and it calls her. Um, Rise and shine yoga, everyone. Sarah's gonna go one of these days, but that's what we want to try to do. What's the answer to a bad headache in the end of the day? A nice cold bath. I promise we don't do this as often as we say we do. Okay, the problem is we live a block away from a 7-Eleven and a McDonald's, and sometimes if you're feeling the blues, a cold pop can help the soul, the mind, the heart, and the throat. Yeah. Sarah's recovering. I think she and may the have brain. Been, and the brain. Mm -hmm. She's recovering. She's still sick, and I think I'm getting sick. Stop. So I need. It's your like, long weekend. Yeah. Guys, I'm trying to leave work early on Friday. By then I mean I heard they might let us out early on Friday and I'm off Monday. So that's like a, the first potentially three and a half day weekend because when we moved here, we got here on a Friday afternoon. I started working on Monday. So I haven't even had three full days off since moving here. I'm going to Blizzard Beach. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. Hold on. This one's overflowing. <laughs> I don't want us to build our brand new car. <coughs> That's good. We got home and we have two things to talk about really quick before we go to bed. And they surprisingly are connected. But we had a great night tonight and we had a, a great time meeting three awesome people tonight. One being a cast member and two being awesome people who watch our vlog, so thank you. Morgan, Kyle, and Jana, thank you so much for talking with us. We had a great time. Yes. Guys. And why I bring them up is because they actually did our outro for us, so thank you for that. <laughs> and second of all, we talked about how Eve is a little rambunctious little doggy, and they've got a little dog too. And Eve has some separation anxiety, and if you watched, for many of you who are new viewers, who may have not seen it, but we drove down 20 hours from Chicago, down here with Eve, in our U-Haul. And a, a family friend of ours told us that if you put like essential oil lavender on their collar, they'll like calm down. And so we did that and it worked wonders. Eve was perfect the 20 hours. Yeah. She was just calm, resting, sleeping or resting like on my arm or my leg as I was driving. So she's been a little rambunctious here. You have to get acclimated to the new apartment. So we ordered some new um, lavender essential oil and it was supposed to get delivered tonight. And the first time ever with Amazon, and I know they could do this, but I've never experienced it for myself, is they'll actually, if they leave a package outside of your apartment or house, they'll, they'll take a photo and send it to you. Like, put it on there. And I can't show you very well because it's got all my information on there. But there's a photo of it, the package delivered, delivered but it's a different, not it's to not us. to us, has the right address. It's, it's in our car apartment complex. I can see by the door and the, the coloring of the building and even a little valley garbage can but it's a different doormat and it's not ours so it's like we just heck, we around walk, looking for it. i walked all the way up to the four floors of our building to see and the unit next to us to see if it was like all anywhere didn't find it so i'll have to report it but the thing is that we wanted that little tonight because she's it was being she's being good and restful but what happens is she's been sleeping well, yeah. <laughs> she's been sleeping while we're at the parks in the evenings so bless you, bless you. So when we get home and she wakes up at say 9, 10, or 11 o'clock at night, 
she's been sleeping for a few hours, so then she's ready to go for the rest of the night. So we were hoping for that lavender or the oil, but for um, it was funny though. Usually we get home a little bit later, so tonight she was like still asleep, and we walked in. She's like, "What are you guys doing here?" Oh, thanks. So hopefully she stays sleepy. But we want to tell our friends that we met tonight at the Magic Kingdom, who've got a little doggy, that if they ever um, that they might want to give the essential oil lavender. It's like ten bucks for a little bottle, yeah, and it lasts a while because you don't put a lot on there because it's very fragrancy. But well, here they are. It's Morgan, Jen, and Kyle from Alabama. It's good to be home. <laughs> Woo! We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.